Pierce Brosnan was born on May 16, 1953, in Drogheda, Ireland, to Thomas and May Brosnan. His father was a carpenter, and his mother was a nurse. Sadly, his life growing up was troubled. His father left when he was only an infant, and after that, he was passed around family members for several years. His humble and tumultuous childhood meant that his eventual fame came as quite a shock to his family. He began his acting career in 1979, although it was a long and winding road before he found his footing. While he may be far from young, Pierce Brosnan's career as an actor seems to only be improving with age. The Irish actor and producer is a legend in film, and he's constantly bombarded by requests to appear in more films with each passing year. His suave appearance, impeccable taste in fashion, and distinctive acting style all make him an icon around the world. While he has an extensive filmography spanning over five decades, he's best known for playing the role of James Bond, becoming the fifth actor to portray the iconic secret agent. Brosnan appeared in countless films before starring as Bond, but it wasn't until he landed the role that he truly gained recognition for his work as an actor. His first film as Bond was 1995's GoldenEye, which was a commercial success. It grossed $350 million worldwide and made Pierce Brosnan the center of attention. Critics were impressed by his portrayal of the role, describing him as more psychologically complete than previous interpretations. After GoldenEye, Pierce portrayed James Bond in three more films, Tomorrow Never Dies, The World Is Not Enough, and Die Another Day. Of course, between those films, he was endlessly busy with other roles. Luckily for Pierce Brosnan, his career still had plenty of momentum, even after his contract for the James Bond films ended. Even though he's well into his 60s today, he shows no sign of slowing down his film appearances. While everyone loves to talk about his career successes, however, there's a lot more to this man than his role as the suave secret agent. In today's video, we're going to look at the interesting history behind his career. Make sure you stick around because we're also going to reveal his surprising early work as a circus performer. He had a difficult childhood. When Pierce was just an infant, his father abandoned his family forever, leaving his mother May to raise her only son alone. When he was four, his mother moved to London so she could work as a nurse, and she left her son with her parents, Philip and Kathleen Smith. When Pierce's grandparents died, however, he was sent to his aunt and uncle, and then to a boarding school. This lack of stability made Pierce's childhood quite difficult, but he was always optimistic. When he was 11, Pierce was reunited with his mother in Scotland, as well as her new husband, William Carmichael. Carmichael took Pierce to see his first James Bond film, Goldfinger, that very same year. Little did they know that one day it would be Pierce up on that screen. He used to be a circus performer. Young Brosnan tried to find his way in life when he was 16. He dropped out of high school and began attending St. Martin's School of Art, where he began to study commercial illustration. He didn't feel entirely enamored of that particular career path, however, and he searched for something more in life. He found a new inspiration when he met a fire eater training people at a workshop. Pierce instantly decided to join, and before long, he found himself performing for the circus as a professional fire eater himself. Brosnan eventually took his act to the streets when he was scouted by a circus worker who saw potential in him. He sent Brosnan to a drama center where Brosnan would then train for three years. He rose to fame through a TV series. Brosnan graduated from the Drama Center London in 1975, when he was 22. He made his debut as an actor in the play Wait Until Dark. Just six months later, he was handpicked by legendary playwright Tennessee Williams to play McCabe in the debut of his play The Red Devil Battery Sign. From there, Brosnan's career took off. He became a hotshot in America when he was cast in the TV series Manions of America, where he played the lead role. He grew even more popular for acting in the NBC series Remington Steel. After that, he appeared in various TV shows and films, including Mrs. Doubtfire, Victim of Love, and Night Love. Of course, while Pierce was relatively popular as an actor, the best was yet to come. He wasn't just paid cash for his role as James Bond. On June 7, 1994, Brosnan was officially announced as the new James Bond. He was signed to a three-film deal for the role and was also granted the option for a fourth. He debuted as 007 in the film Goldeneye, which was incredibly successful. Of course, the role of James Bond is known to pay well, but Pierce got a little something extra out of the deal. For each Bond film he appeared in, he was also given a car. After filming Goldeneye, he was given a Z3 BMW. After Tomorrow Never Dies, he was gifted a BMW 8 series. Lastly, he was given a Z8 for The World Is Not Enough. Sadly, however, Brosnan's time as Bond wouldn't last forever. Make sure you stick around to the very end of the video, where we'll reveal how Brosnan was rudely dropped from the role. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to our channel for more. He isn't just an actor. 
While Pierce has garnered critical acclaim for his acting, that's far from all he's accomplished. He's worked as a film producer, and he co-funded the film production company Irish Dreamtime alongside his friend and colleague, Bo St. Clair. Irish Dreamtime works to produce both independent and commercial films. The first film they produced was the 1998 film, The Nephew. Brosnan has even branched out of the film industry. He's an accomplished environmental activist and has participated in numerous charities and protests to help the environment. He became a member of the Board of Advisors for the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, and as a result, the Sustainable Style Foundation named him Best Dressed Environmentalist of 2004. His love life was marred by tragedy. Pierce met an Australian actress named Cassandra Harris. In one interview, Brosnan explained the moment he met her, he was stunned by her beauty. What a beautiful looking woman, he thought. I never for an instant thought she was someone I would spend 17 years of my life with. I just wanted to enjoy her beauty and who she was. Cassandra Harris must have felt the same way, because it wasn't long before the two began dating. They married in December of 1980, and together they had a son named Sean. Sadly, in 1987, Cassandra fell ill. She was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and after a long battle, she succumbed to the disease. She died December 28, 1991, at age 43. Brosnan was heartbroken. After a time, however, he was able to move forward with his life, and he eventually married Keely Shea Smith in 2001. James Bond isn't the only role he's shared. Brosnan has, of course, shared the role of James Bond with eight other actors. However, this isn't the role Brosnan has shared. Surprisingly, while Brosnan and Sean Connery have both played the legendary 007, they have another role in common. Connery played the role of King Arthur in the 1995 film The First Knight. Three years later, Brosnan also played King Arthur in the animated film Quest for Camelot. David Niven is another former Bond actor who shares a second role with Pierce. Both have played the role of Phileas Fogg in the film Around the World in 80 Days. Niven played the character in the 1956 edition, while Brosnan played Fogg in the 1989 remake. He was unexpectedly dismissed from the James Bond role. Brosnan's contract meant he would be playing the role of James Bond in at least three films, with the option for a fourth. After he finished his fourth, Die Another Day, Brosnan felt ready for more. It was a huge shock and disappointment when he learned he was dropped from the role, and was later replaced with a new actor. Thankfully, Brosnan's career hasn't suffered one bit, and while it's unlikely he'll ever reprise his role as Bond, he's got plenty of other work to look forward to. Pierce Brosnan has accomplished so much more than playing the role of James Bond. Were you more surprised to learn about his time spent as a fire eater or about his knack for painting? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Facts First for more.